Hello, my name is Luna, and you're watching The Luna Show. Right now, you're about to meet Little James Khan. Little James Khan, how are you? I'm fine. Good. So, this is actually exciting because uh, we never actually spoke like this before. So, uh, so, tell me a little bit about your experience in the ballroom scene. Um, ballroom, it's fine. Well, it was fine. I don't have as much running balls as I do. Like as I did before, but um, ballroom is cool. I do it. It's my only thing I do for fun. I don't smoke. I don't drink. Um, I don't really care for clubs too much, so I just go. Mm -hmm. So it's like my only entertainment. Uh -huh. So your introduction to the ballroom scene is out of con, or you tell yeah. me a little bit about that? Um, yeah, I was introduced to the House of Con in 2006, mm -hmm. and um. I just, I don't know. I just, I just was, I like, I was around my friends. Like I was, my friends that I was dancing with at one point, and we was introduced to the ballroom scene. And I just wanted to vote because I was a dancer, mm -hmm. so um, a hip hop dancer. And I started voguing, and then I was just, I was introduced by like to the house of by one of my friends that was a con at the time. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your dancing. Um, dancing was cool. I did it pretty much all my life um, for as long as I can remember actually I always loved dancing so maybe that's another thing like I did dancing for so long and then once I started Bogan I pretty much stopped dancing so Bogan kind of took place mm -hmm. in dancing in my life so what was it about Bogan that made you want to do that in the scene um it's, it just seems so fun and like entertaining like it's, it, I don't know it's just it's like it's freestyling I, I, I'm used to freestyling when I dance so like it's a it's a lot of freestyling and you know you can just express yourself you can have a nice time sometimes um, that's really it mm -hmm. so what is it about like ballroom in terms of houses and voguing what was it that intrigued you to want to be a part of it? Coming from like a dance background. Um, I guess because when you dance, you're like you're on a dance team. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of like the same thing. The only difference is in ballroom is more activities. It's like it's not just dancing. Like you know, in the, in the dancing, you have like your dancers, your steppers, your marchers, stuff like that. Like, and I had more than that. Like. When, when I came to the ballroom scene, I seen that you had runway, realness, mm -hmm. so it's like, it's a whole nother world. It was like learning something different, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like an underground world, something I didn't even know exists, honestly. So, mm -hmm. I was like, I was I was kind of intrigued by it. I was like, wow. And this was in D.C.? Um, no, this was in Baltimore. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I only lived in D.C. for two years. Oh, okay. So, once you were inside a ballroom and you saw what it was, what was your perspective on it? <laughs> um... I mean, I think you every, either love it or you hate it. It's right. Like, like <laughs> I, I, I mean, I loved it because of what I put into it. Like, you know, everything has its ups and its downs, and mm -hmm. its goods and its bads. And I, I chose to do the good things in ballroom. I don't knock anybody for what they, you know, anybody for what they do. But I don't think I do anything wrong in ballroom. All mm -hmm. I do is I come to a ball, I vote, I see my friends, I meet new people. I'm, I've met so many people like all across the U.S. Mm -hmm. And um. That's pretty it. Like, I, it's just, it was like a whole other world. I just, it, 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 it's, 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 it's a world that you don't know exists. So it's like, it's kind of, it, it just makes you feel like, wow, like, I didn't even know this exists. So it makes you want to be a part. So do you feel like you're one of those people that's approachable or not approachable? Well, I think I'm approachable. Um, but I would say, I guess I'm not because. <laughs> Many people have said, um, but you say you are, but then you said, No, I'm, I'm, not. I'm, I'm saying I'm not because I feel like when a number of people tell you, you that you're not approachable, like mm -hmm. that, like people that's not even in the same group tell you're not approachable, then obviously, yes, something about you is not approachable. I think, like, so I take that into heat a little bit. And a lot of people tell me that I look mean and stuff like that, and I'm not mean. Maybe I thought I smile a lot, I like to have fun, I play all day, like, that's all I do. So, I guess people may see me and I may have a straight face or maybe because I play with a straight face sometimes like I'll just joke around I have a straight face so it's like it may make me look like I'm not approachable but I'm a nice person I'm, I'm human just like anybody else so 
if anybody speaks to me, I speak back. I don't look at them like they're crazy. I, I introduce myself. I ask them their name if I don't know it. I don't have a problem with that. Like, I'm, you know, I'm human. I don't. I think I, 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 I am an approachable person, but others looking in, I'm not. So, so tell me about being a father of a house. Um, being a father of a house is tough. It's tough, but it's also fun. Like. You know, it's, it's like you can teach others what you learn. Um, you can teach others the right way. Like, like I said, ballroom has its ups and its downs and its good and its bad. And I can teach people like you know what they should and shouldn't do. Well, I can teach them what I've learned, what I've seen, um, the right path to go down. And I can't force anybody to do anything. But to see somebody do the right thing and know that you was you it, like you was a part of that, it means a lot. Like it, it really means a lot. So I like being a leader. I really do. So what would you say about uh, what would you say about the House of Khan that people don't know? Um, the House of Khan, I love the House of Khan. It's the only house I've ever been in. The ho House of Khan is like full of a bunch of clowns. Like we just play and joke around all day long. Like I mean, people may mistake us because of our history, and you learn you would know. Like they mistake us because of our, <laughs> our history, but history means it's gone. It's over with. You know, let it go. Um, the House of Cards now, we're ball walkers, we're about having fun, we like to, you know, we like to participate just like anybody else. Mm -hmm. So, the House of Cards, for the most part, is, is just like any other house. Like, we don't try to put ourselves on a higher pedestal than anybody else. We try to have fun just like everybody else. We, you know, we, we like to enjoy ourselves. We come to balls, we speak to our friends, we, we sit at the tables, we sit at our tables. Like, we, that's the stuff we do. We, we're really, really sociable people. Mm -hmm. The House of Cards is... Just so I don't know. I don't even know the word for it. We have our own vocabulary. Like I, I just love my house. I do, and that's why it's the only house I've ever been in. So what's next for you? Um, what's next for me? Honestly, I think I want to eventually move out of the DC Baltimore area and um, try to pursue my um, trade in business technology and then get get you know some time like maybe become a computer technician one day. Mm -hmm. I do. I really like computers, so that's what I want to do. Computers. I love computers. I feel like <laughs> the future is going to be running on computers, so you can never run out of money. Well, yeah. But it's so interesting coming from somebody who votes. Like, <laughs> I want to do computers. Like, that seemed a little, like, nerdy or boring. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? No, I mean, I like computers. Like, I, I, there's a lot of stuff on computers. You have games, just computer programming. Like, it, I mean, a computer technician or a computer programmer, they, they make games. They make pictures like little stuff like that like I like I want I would do computer design I want to learn everything about a computer like how to mm -hmm. put one together how to take it apart um, how to program you know how to, how to do that now yeah I, I don't know how to take them take them apart <laughs> put them together but I'm good with the program oh, okay so so in terms of ballroom where do you see yourself going um I don't know do I just, you have an expiration date like some of us do <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have an expiration date but believe it or not like I'm actually kind of getting bored with ballroom a little like and the only reason I'm being bored is because for a while, like for a long time, I was making friends. Mm -hmm. Now I started to feel like I'm making enemies, and that's not a good thing to me. Like I don't like to make enemies, and because I am the way I am, like I'm, I'm, I'm a nice person, but I'm stern as well. And like I treat people the way I want to be treated. And once I treat you a certain kind of way, and you don't give me that same thing, that, that same thing back in return, mm -hmm. like I just feel like. You know, you, I'm gonna give you back what you're giving me. Once, mm. once I'm, once I'm showing you nothing but respect. So like, people is now taking fun out of all of them for me. Like, <laughs> when you beat people, and it's like they want to throw you shade, and they don't want to be like they don't want to speak to you anymore, nothing like that. Like, and I think that's so weird. But um, what do you think they're doing that though? I, you, say it again. What do you, what do you think they're doing that? It's just, it's, it's just bad sportsmanship. Like, and, and I was like, I was a basketball player for six years. I played football for two years, and I was a dancer, so I know how to take a loss just as uh -huh. well as I can take a win. And I get mad when I lose, but just because I get mad, don't mean I'm going. You know, I'm going to hold it against the person I lost to. Mm -hmm. I just feel like you should bring it better next time. Like, I, I'm, I'm like within the last couple months, I've gotten so many enemies all because I beat, like I beat them, and I just think it's so like it's low. But I mean, what can I say? I can't force people to, you know, like me or whatever like that. So. I let people be the way they are, and if they ever feel like they want to come out of that, like, you know, that bad sportsmanship, and they say, you know, James, I apologize for what I did, or whatever like that, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm always over to apology, and, you know, stuff like that, but, I, I mean, it's 
as long as I eventually once once the fun fade completely away from Baldwin for me, then I'll probably be done with it. It's fading away slowly but surely, but I mean, I think the only reason I do like balls is, again, because it's the only thing I do for entertainment. Like, I don't do anything. So, what is that? So, you don't see yourself doing, like, 20 years in the ball scene or 25 years like some of us have? <laughs> I mean, probably not. Maybe so. Because I mean, my friends, like, I like to see my friends. And I feel like if I stop coming to balls, like, I won't see my friends that I know from L.A. I won't see uh -huh. my friends that I know from Chicago. I won't see my friends I know from Miami. Stuff like that. Like, I want to see those people. So I I'll come to balls and stuff like that. I may not participate as much. So I may still be coming to balls, you know, 20 years from now. Maybe not participate. Though. So I know you're, like, you do Vogue and stuff like that. Do you see yourself doing something else in the scene that's... Um, like a different teaching like talent? a movie class or something. That sounds fun. I never really thought about it, like sat and thought about it, but it would be fun. Mm -hmm. it, would, it really would. I would, I would. I would try something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I, I pretty much do that now with the people in my house. Like, <laughs> new, like the newer generation in my house. Like, they come to my house. We practice. I show them what they should and shouldn't do. Um, you know, just everything about yeah. like being on the floor. Mm -hmm. So, what's one message you would tell young people that are coming into the scene? Um, I mentioned I would tell, well, coming into the scene, I would tell you, like all young people, never allow anybody to make you do anything you don't want to do. Always have your own mindset because if you allow somebody to walk you into a wrong step, you won't be able to, you, like, you may not be able to pick yourself up from it. You never know. Um, just always have your own mind. Just do what you feel is best. Just make the best decisions for yourself. That's pretty much it. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right.